And Microsoft does it again. More controllers, waste of money that you can't buy. Microsoft is really enjoying making stuff that you can't buy. Isn't that great? Isn't that fun? How about that? And hey, we're gonna call this another Turtle Tuesday video. It's been a long time since I've done one of those, hasn't it? But hey, happens to fall on a day with Ninja Turtles on a Tuesday. How about that? So we'll throw that out there for you been a while. Hey, I'll have a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff coming up for Turtle Tuesday, so look forward to that. Resurrecting Turtle Tuesday, but time to get the good news out of the way and time to get to the bad news. So Microsoft's doing one of their things again, where they're making controllers that are cool, but you can't get them. You have to put in for a contest and one in like a billion chance of getting them. And it's like, wh why do you put all this money in? Why do you put all this effort just to tell your, your fan base you can't get them? People are already discouraged enough with the Xbox brand, with everything that's been going on. Sales are down. Why not, if you're not putting out these games that you promised, and you're showing us these really cool controllers, i.e. like the Jade one, could have made a, a replica of it not put out an actual j controller for us they looked cool people in the comments of my video were like i would buy it <laughs> you know even if they made a replica where it was plastic but it looked cool i mean how about just make stuff so you can make some money because we'll buy them you know i think that new the new ninja turtle mutant mayhem movie is going to be terrible it looks terrible the character designs are terrible and i don't care what you say i'm a massive turtle fan look behind me back there I, I think they look terrible I, I think they destroyed the villains and April looks awful and like the turtles look like little dorks I mean it's don't get me started on that but we're talking about the controls I would have bought the Raphael one just because it's Raphael I even bought Rise of the Teen, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael figures and even though that was even I don't even think it's as bad as this one They're, they all looks bad Let's get into the article because I'm getting fired up as it is. So let's uh, let's talk about this. This comes from, it's on any source. It was on Xbox. You could see it anywhere. But um, I like the, uh, well, I, I like uh, Pure Xbox. Xbox has officially created the world's first ever pizza scented controller. Uh, shaped like a slice of delicious New York za. You know what? <laughs> I've never had pizza from New York. But I've heard enough people say it's good, but, you know, mm, I need to try it myself. So, well, <laughs> it's not getting to New York pizza. It may not exist anymore. But, hey, uh, what in the world is going on here? Xbox never seems to run out of ideas when it comes to making cool new controller designs, but its latest batch of limited edition pads go above and beyond anything we've expected to see and indeed smell. But it doesn't matter because you can't buy them. To coincide with the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem movie, Xbox has created four controller designs that each come bundled with a built-in scent diffuser shaped like a slice of delicious New York pizza. And yep, that scent is designed to deliver <laughs> the smell of the turtle's beloved meal to your game time. But you can't buy it. So the diffuser's the piece of pizza and it just blows smell into your face okay see i think like they're not the turtles aren't terrible they just look anemic they look geeky too i mean i hate that they always have to give raf now the full head bandana he can't be normal again they, they just it, nothing can be normal anymore i can't i can't wait for this movie to crash and burn then all the products and then just like Rise of the TMNT, it's just going to fizzle out. And then they're eventually going to realize this is the way to go. Bring back the old stuff or something reminiscent of it. Like the, the 2002 series or the 2012 was fantastic. Bring that back. We've seen some stuff in our time covering Xbox. This comes from Pure Xbox. But a pizza scented diffuser attached to a controller is not something we thought possible. Never mind something that actually comes out of an official Microsoft product. Unfortunately, it's a little bit too tasty for public consumption. 
so you won't be seeing these on store shelves anytime soon of course because like i said microsoft is back at making things that you can't buy doesn't matter if you want them no we're just going to waste money on it we're going to waste money on all this marketing we're going to waste money on this instead of you know putting into products that you can actually buy or you know games that you can actually play instead of just saying hey it'll come out soon someday yeah and you, you you can see i'm jaded here get it green jaded okay uh instead you'll have to enter to win uh, one via twitter although the official competition post isn't live just yet you want uh, if you want your latest Xbox pad to smell like Turtles Pizza, it'll be worth keeping an eye on the official Xbox Twitter page in the coming days for more information. Now, is it the Game Pass one or the regular one? Follow Game Pass. Okay. So there you go. Um, I'm not even going to bother. And the thing is, I don't know if it's if it's just to win these. Maybe it's all four. I would like to have all four, but... I prefer the RAF, but hey, how do you guys feel about that? Because you can't have it. And the chance of winning, you know how many thousands of hundreds of thousands of people are going to uh, enter to win. So your chance becomes like 0. 0.0001. It's ridiculous. It's like the luck of the draw. It's, it's nonsense. So there you go. That kind of fired me up because I made a video, like I said, about that Jade controller. And Microsoft has done a number of things over the years where they make these limited edition, one of a kind, you can't have them, but we're going to put them all across our social media. We're going to promote this not out of this. We're going to say, hey, enter to win, but you can't have this. They do it with consoles. They did it with... Um, the what the cyberpunk console they, they 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 just do it with so many things imagine if they had take that money that they're wasting by putting into these uh drawings and stuff to just get people's eyes on the brand take that money that you're investing do something to make the brand better xbox used to be a beast in the 360 days they really lost it in the xbox one i hate saying that because I was always a big Xbox guy. You know, you, you guys can see by older videos on the channel. And now Microsoft is like, yeah, we, we give up. You know, Phil Spencer even said, we're in third and that's it. We're done. <sighs> to paraphrase. And it's a, it's, it's a shame. It really is because the Xbox Series X is such great hardware. And if Microsoft decided to drop the the politics drop the nonsense drop the the lies and you know just say hey all right we wanted to make these games we don't have the money or hey uh we've spent too much money here and there these games are going to have to get pushed back hey you know what we promised all this stuff we're going to make this a little more realistic we're going to stop focusing on all this nonsense and make sure you guys get the games that you want instead of putting out garbage that was that fable trailer that's just terrible so forza motorsport is looking pretty good starfield's looking pretty good but that's it just lost um high on life it's no longer an exclusive i mean all this stuff they promised and now with the whole getting rid of xbox live and merging it into game pass people are really divided between uh, Xbox Game Pass Core and Xbox Game Pass Console and then the uh, PC and then Ultimate it's like people are just not happy right now and I've I've seen it in in our chats in our live stream I've seen it in comments in my videos people aren't happy you know you got your fanboys which will take anything Microsoft gives them hey I used to be one of those so you know I, I know where they're coming from but now I've I've woken up i my i see the light that this is this is not the way to go and i know i've gotten a little off topic with um talking about these ninja turtle controllers to now microsoft you know i really think this is where i wanted to go with this video showing you one more thing that microsoft is putting money behind which is a waste now if they were mass marketing these they would sell even if they sold them strictly through xbox.com and 
limited quantities, these things would sell. Even if they didn't have the, the pizza scent, they have a thing where you can put whatever scent you want. You, you, that would that would sell. It would sell. People would buy it. And you know what? You could take the money that you're putting into these limited edition controllers that people actually want instead of making the OP one, the, the one with, based on nail polish. Those just litter stores. Go to Target. Go to Walmart. Go to your local game store if they have them. Nobody wants that controller. Why did you? Why? Why Microsoft? And you're not making these? You're not making that jade one? It doesn't have to be real jade, like I said. It could be plastic, just look like it. It was cool. Or you make that faux recycled one made out of old controller bits and CD. Why didn't you paint it better? I mean, and 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 then they, they wonder why things aren't going so well. And then you look at companies like 8BitDo or Hyperkin. Those controllers sell gangbusters because they're doing what fans want. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I've gone on long enough. Tell me what you guys think about these Ninja Turtle controllers. I, I, I really do want to know. And on the side note, tell me what you think about everything else I said. Would you buy one of these controllers? Would you buy any of those other limited you can't own controllers, as I call them. You can't buy them. Would you buy any of those? I would buy that jade one. It looked really cool. No, but they come out with fingernail polish ones. Hey, at least we got that Starfield one. That was really cool. I really like the Starfield, but I'm surprised they didn't go, nope, you can't have this one either. All right, I've gone on long enough. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again.